I am Anil Kumar and now let us review what we have learned about polynomial functions. Write the degree and leading coefficient of the following polynomials. So we have four of these polynomials here. You need to write down their degree and leading coefficient. You can pause the video, answer the question and then check with my solution. The first one, we have put them in a different order. So when you are looking at a polynomial, normally we write the term with highest degree first right and then in decreasing order but in a test paper you may have a situation where it can be mixed up so here the degree of the polynomial is 4 since the variable x has highest exponent of 4 in any of these terms right so that is the degree what is the leading coefficient leading coefficient is coefficient of the term with highest degree right so this term has a leading coefficient of minus 1 okay so that's the first one the second one is we have given the polynomial in factored form now you don't really have to multiply expand get to this stage and then find the answer you should remember if you multiply x with 2x you are going to get 2x square 2x square times x will give you 2x cube don't forget about 3 here so that should give you 3x cube right so 3 becomes the leading coefficient and 3 becomes the degree the x cube term right so you got to multiply 3 with this x these terms these terms when multiplied will give you the leading term from where you can find degree and the leading coefficient right I think I did something wrong let us do it again 3 times x is 3 3 times 2 is 6 so it should have been 6 right so leading coefficient is 6 for us now let's get to C now we will apply the strategy learned here and then write down degree and leading coefficient of part C now I've purposely given this do you see that minus with x it makes a huge difference and the cube here will make it 2x cube right so in a way what are we multiplying to get the leading coefficient let me show that so we have x times 2x cube right so we should write 2x cube here and then minus x do you see that now degree will be 1 plus 3 4 plus 1 5 so degree for us is 5 and the leading coefficient is 1 times 2 cube which is 8 times minus so it is minus 8 now the last one here is given in factored form degree you can count when you multiply them 5 6 and 1 and 2 8 so the degree is 8 it's a even degree function and leading coefficient will be you have to multiply 2x cube x and x to the power of 5 so the number is 1 to the power of 5 so the leading coefficient is 2 square let me write 2 square is 4 times 1 times 1 so it is 4 I hope you understand the process correct if you are given a polynomial in standard form you can directly read the term the term with highest exponent is the leading term exponent gives you the degree and the leading coefficient is the number before it don't forget the sign if you are given in factored form you don't have to multiply and expand it and waste so much of time just multiply the terms which will lead to leading term that is how you should do it if you have a cube don't forget to cube the term 2x whole cube right so 2 cube and x cube there could be a minus sign take care of these things in your test to get it always right i hope that helps thank you